when they try to turn our favorite enemy into live action movie. Sometimes it always ends up badly. Whether it's anime, video games, or books getting the makeover treatment, filmmakers always seem to hit snacks. But honestly, most anime fans prefer their characters to remain in the animated 2D form. They don't want or demand any live action movie. Those who do want them are usually non-anime enthusiasts. Nevertheless, despite the apprehension from fans, the movie industry keeps striving to strike the ideal balance between breathing life into anime and staying true to the characters' emotions, actions, and narratives. Remarkably, some of these adaptations become unexpected hits, even evolving into cult classics, seamlessly bridging the gap from anime to live action. So today, we are going to talk about those successful anime adaptations that are brought to the big screen. So watch the whole video and stay tuned. Starting to number 13, we have Kintama Live Action Adaptation. Kintama Live Action Adaptation successfully captures the essence of the beloved manga and anime series, blending comedy, action, and drama in a way that will delight fans and newcomers alike. The movie manages to replicate the eccentric charm of the original characters, particularly the charismatic oddball Kintoki Sakata, played brilliantly by the talented Shun Oguri. The action sequences are well executed, bringing the dynamic sword fights of the anime to life with impressive choreography and special effects. While some may find the pacing a bit rushed at times, overall the movie strikes a balance between humor and heartfelt moments, staying true to the spirit of its source material. So fans of Gintama will appreciate the festival adaptation, while people who are new to the series will find an entertaining introduction to the quirky world of the series. The live action adaptation of Ruroini Kenshin is a stellar homage to the iconic manga and anime series. It skillfully brings to life the captivating story of Kenshin Himura, a former assassin turned wanderer seeking redemption in a new era of peace. Takeru Sato's portrayal of Kenshin is both nuanced and captivating, perfectly capturing the character's internal conflict and unwavering sense of justice. The movie's action sequences are breathtaking, blending swordplay and martial arts with fluid choreography and stunning cinematography. As one of the most iconic and influential anime in Jidegeki tales, across five movies, they faithfully depicted most of Himura Kenshi's life and battles during the Meiji Restoration with remarkable attention to detail. The fight scenes in particular attain legendary status in modern action cinema. Director Keishi Otomo's interpretation of this beloved story offers a blend of nostalgic familiarity and refreshing uniqueness. It serves as an excellent introduction of Roruni Kenshin for a new generation of fans. Let Me Eat Your Pancreas Live Action delicately translates the emotional depth and pregnancy of the original novel and manga into a moving cinematic experience. Anchored by heartfelt performances from the lead actors, the movie explores themes of friendship, love, and the fragility of life with sincerity and grace. The chemistry between the two main characters portrayed by Takumi Kitamura and Minami Hamabe is palpable, drawing viewers into the bittersweet journey of self-discovery and acceptance. While the subject matter may be somber, the movie is infused with moments of warmth and humor, creating a balanced narrative that uh, resonates long after the credits roll. With its sensitive portrayal of complex emotion and universal truth, the live action is a touching tribute to the power of human connection and the beauty found in life's fleeting moments. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Damon is Unbreakable Chapter 1, presents a stylish and energetic adaptation of one of the most beloved story arcs in Hirohiko Araki iconic manga series. Set in the quirky town of Morayo, the movie follows high schooler Josuke Higashikata as he grapples with newfound stand powers and confronts villain forces lurking in his community. Kento Yamazaki delivers a charismatic performance as the bold and compassionate Josuke, capturing the essence of the character with aplomb. Those who involved behind this movie were committed to capturing the essence of the anime's charm and eccentric energy in its cinematic form, and their dedication certainly bore fruit. Particularly noteworthy is the outstanding artistry evident in the costume, hair, and makeup design, which flawlessly recreate the distinctive style of the series.
One Piece Netflix has gathered widespread presses from both longtime fans and newcomers alike. Despite initial skepticism, particularly given past experiences with other Netflix adaptations, the series managed to impress with its tight plot and well-rounded characters. While it took some time to adjust to the show's aesthetic style, viewers found themselves engrossed in the fast-paced narrative and over-the-top fight scenes. The first season, based on the East Blue arc of the manga, received Echiro Oda full approval and provided valuable background for each protagonist, deepening the audience's understanding of the world and its characters. Inaki Godoy's performance as Luffy is also outstanding and impressive, capturing Luffy's personality perfectly. The rest of the cast also did a great job portraying the characters. One of the biggest challenges for some viewers was the show's tone which juxtaposed absurd humor with darker themes and intense action. However, as the series progressed, this blend of goofiness and earnestness became part of its charm. While some struggled to connect with the protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, due to his loud and single-minded personality, they still found themselves invested in the other characters and the journeys. Despite any reservation, viewers praised the show excellent fight scenes and cohesive storytelling, eagerly anticipating a second season. Tesno's 2006 live action movie offers oh, yeah. a captivating interpretation of the popular manga and anime series. The movie follows the story of Light Yagami, a high school student who gains possession of a mysterious notebook with the power to kill anyone whose name is written in it. Tatsuya Fujiwara delivers a compelling oh, yeah. performance as Light, capturing the character's descent into darkness with intensity and charisma. The movie effectively balances a psychological thrills with moral dilemmas as like grapples with the consequences of his oh, yeah. actions and faces off against the enigmatic detective known as L, played by Kenichi Matsuyama. The movie remains faithful to the source material, avoiding the dramatic reimagining of the psychological narrative seen in Netflix oh, adaptation. Yeah. In contrast to the Netflix version, the original live action movies capture the essence of L and like Yagami's rivalry more effectively in the live action format. Nana live action adaptations offers a heartfelt and authentic portrayal of a Yazawa beloved manga series. The movie follows the intertwining lives of two young women, both named Nana, who forge a deep bond despite their contrasting personalities and aspirations. Mika Nakashima and Aoi Miyazaki deliver captivating performances as the nominal characters, bringing depth and emotion to the roles. The movie effectively captures the central parts of friendship, love, and the pursuit of dreams, while also addressing more serious themes such as and identity. The movie really brought an added layer of authenticity to the sad story of two women navigating life's challenges together. While Nana spawned a well-received sequel, it didn't quite achieve the same anonymous acclaim as the first movie. Overall, Nana is a touching and beautifully crafted movie that will resonate with fans and the manga and captivate audiences with its powerful storytelling. Blade of Immortal Life Action offers a visual stunning and action-packed interpretation of Hiroki Samurai's acclaimed manga series. The movie follows the story of Manji, a skilled samurai cursed with immortality, as he seeks redemption by taking on impossible missions to atone for his past sins. Takuya Kimura delivers a compelling performance as the conflicted protagonist, portraying both the physical prowess and emotional depth of Manji with conviction. The action sequences are choreographed with precision and brutality, capturing the intensity of the manga's visceral combat scenes. The movie soared thanks to stellar casting, meticulous set design, and faithful renditions of the anime's vibrant and formidable warriors. Its unforgettable climax, featuring Manji's epic duel against 100 enemy soldiers, cements its status not only only as a standard live action anime adaptation, but also as a modern classic in the Jidegeki genre. Alice in Borderland live action Netflix delivers a gripping and intense adaptation of the suspenseful manga series set in a dystopian Tokyo where participants are forced to compete in deadly games to survive. The live action Netflix follows protagonist Arisu and his friends as they navigate the dangerous challenges as the mysterious alternate reality. 
with its high stakes action, suspenseful plot twists, and well developed characters, the live action keeps viewers on the edge of their seats from the start to finish. Kento Yamazaki portrayal of Arisu is particularly noteworthy, capturing the character's determination and vulnerability in equal measure. The Netflix adaptation masterfully brings Haro Aso's survival tale to life, delivering a ruthless yet immersive dead game experience that captivates audiences. Even those unfamiliar with the source material can enjoy the series' gripping narrative and intense action, which explains its phenomenal popularity extended beyond the anime community. Speed Racer 2008 Live Action is a visually dazzling and highly rating cinematic experience that pays homage to the iconic anime series. Directed by the Wachowskis, the movie bursts with vibrant colors, stunning visuals, and high octane racing sequences that capture the spirit of the original. Emil Hirsch delivers a charismatic performance as the titular racer, while the supporting cast, including John Goodman and Chris Ritchie, adapts to the story. Speed Racer 2008 stands out as perhaps the quintessential example of a successful live action anime adaptation. Not only does it capture the cartoonish energy and vibrant characters of the original anime, but it also brings its dynamic visuals to life with special effects that have etched surprisingly well. In a sense, Speed Racer embodies the essence of a live action anime. Despite its initial release disappointment, Speed Racer has since accumulated a dedicated cult following and earned appreciation as a classic. Decades later, it remains a benchmark for future adaptations setting a high standard in both storytelling and visual presentation for live action anime films to aspire to. Alita Battle Angel 2019 Live Action is a visually stunning and action-packed sci-fi adventure that brings Yukito Kashiro manga series to life with dazzling special effects and heartfelt storytelling. Set in a post-apocalyptic world where cyborgs and humans coexist, the movie follows the journey of Alita, a cyborg with extraordinary abilities and a mysterious past. Rosa Salazar motion capture performance brings Alita to life with depth and emotion. While the movie's thrilling action sequences and stunning visual effects keep audiences engaged from start to finish, Alita Battle Angel stands as a breathtaking adaptation and a tactical masterpiece. It showcases groundbreaking special effects that push the boundaries of visual storytelling. With a Hollywood budget and the guidance of visionary filmmaker James Cameron, the movie achieves a remarkable fidelity to the manga aesthetic. The dedication of the special effects team is evident, get a widespread acclaim and paving the way for a highly anticipated sequel. Pokemon Detective Pikachu Live Action offers a delightful blend of live action and CGI animation, bringing the beloved Pokemon world to life in a fresh and engaging way. The movie follows the adventure of Tim Goodman and his partner Detective Pikachu as they unravel the mystery surrounding Tim's missing father. Ryan Reynolds' charismatic voice performance is Pikachu as humor and charm to the movie, while the stunning visual effects seamlessly integrate the Pokemon into the real world. Seemingly based on the video game of the same name, the movie actually serves as a spin-off of the original Pokemon anime, acting as a sequel to Pokemon the first movie. However, even without this nostalgic connection, the movie stands out as one of the best live-action anime adaptations to date. Seamlessly blending real people with Pokemon, it presents a compelling mystery that thrives in a world filled with these beloved creatures. Pokemon Detective Pikachu isn't just a top-tier live-action anime, it's also among the finest Pokemon and video game adaptations ever brought to the screen. And lastly, Whisper of the Heart Live Action The movie is an adaptation anime that gracefully continues the Studio Ghibli legacy, weaving a touching tale of love and dreams. As Shizuku and Seiji navigate adulthood, their pursuit of their passions and feelings for each other form the heart of the story. The performances, particularly those of Yasuhara, Runa, and Nagagawa Tsubasa as the young Shizuku and Seiji, are outstanding, capturing the spirit of the original characters with depth and nuance. The flashbacks to their youth are seamlessly integrated into the story, serving as both calls back to the original movie and touching reflection on the passage of time. With remarkable performances and seamless integration of flashbacks, the movie captures the essence of its predecessor while offering fresh insights. Visually stunning and rich in detail, it immerses viewers in a world of vibrant colors and enchanting characters. While some alterations from the original may raise eyebrows, they ultimately enhance the narrative. Overall, the movie is stunning and has breathtaking storytelling.
Anyway, that's all for today. I hope this video is helpful for you, especially for anime fans. If you enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Feel free to comment below and let me know what video you would like me to make next in the future.